Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, Nemesis here today, and I'm bringing you one of the first episodes of Tips and Tricks on Zombie Survival today. Um, decided to do this because a lot of the clan were actually pretty good at zombies, and uh, we'd like to help everyone out survive longer rounds. So the most important thing you can do is to get yourself off to a good start, is make sure you can earn as many points as, you, as possible. This makes it a lot easier to purchase new weapons and perks in future rounds. When when they're going really obviously de difficult, you need these sorts of advantages over the zombies. Um, zombies can take only so much damage in the early rounds, so before you actually um, knife them or whatever, it's good to maybe give them five shots in the leg the first couple of rounds, and you can stab them, and that will get you a lot more points. Um, in the video above, you you'll see. It's basically the highlight reel I've done of a gameplay with Insomnulus and a couple of other friends of ours. And it shows you a couple of early rounds on what we do. Uh, at first, obviously in the earlier stages, the zombies are slow at first. So it's like you could take your time going around putting up barricades. And always shoot into the lower leg, don't shoot into the body or torso area. Uh, and it's not a bad idea to be fair to let the zombies actually through the barricades and that will earn you some bonus points in picking them back up. Also in the early rounds, try not to pick up the atom bomb because it's not really worth it in all honesty. You get 400 points and you'll probably be better off stabbing and shooting them. Uh, to get, we're going to say today about getting to at least round 15. So in the early round you want to try and acquire a better weapon. If this is either going to the Pack-a-Punch or, or even the MP5 people have been having good luck with. Three perks you definitely want no matter what are Double Tap, Juggernaut and Speed Cola. These will help you a lot to get to 15. Um, also, stay around the mystery boxes until you draw the light machine guns. That's the hammer or the RPD. They are two of the best guns and it's a must have gun into later rounds. They're a lot better than the um, other guns that are around there. So, that is an so that is a must. And pack a punch for primary gun as soon as you can. It costs 5,000 to pack a punch your primary gun. If you don't pack a punch your primary gun in one of the early rounds, it's going to be a lot harder. Uh, teamwork is also a thing you have to bring into this. At the heart of the game, it's like it's all about teamwork and cooperating with each other. You need to stick by your friends as often as possible. So when someone actually goes down, you're all there to revive him and keep basically keep fighting. It is good on time to maybe split up into sections because then you don't all draw all the zombies in one direction. You can split them up and you can do what you want with them. A good thing to do as well is to get a rate train going. If you don't know what a rate train is, a rate train is basically you get the zombies to follow you, you run around, run around, and if you get me, they'll start all following all together. That means you can then turn around at odd stages, you don't have to do it all once, and you can headshot, 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 always aim for the head. You get a lot more points and it helps you on the leaderboards. Um, you can get massive rate trains going, you can do it all between you, but never run the rate trains into each other, because that means the zombies then will peel off and they'll go for the other person, keeping your areas and keep the rate train going. So this is a bit of a one to show you how to get to round 15 today, just a few tips. The next tip will be coming will be about the perks, um, I will be doing one on that, so if you look forward to that, I'll be doing that within the next couple of days and get that up. I hope some of this would actually help you today. It's a basic start, basically, to this series. And uh, thank you all for listening. Remember to like and subscribe and comment for more. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Cheers, people.